Today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the Mind vs. Might Jewel deck. So this came out early last year, so in 2017. And these are really like a kitchen table type thing. They're not really standard or modern legal, although I'm sure there are certain cards you could pick out for your modern deck. So we have Joira of the Gitu and Luvisa Cold Eyes. I'm thinking this is going to be a battle of control versus aggro. So let's take a look here. Yep, wizards and warriors battle in the classic struggle of brains against Born. Born. Brawn. There we go. So this is the Artificer Mage Joyra and Clan Chieftain Lovisa Cold Eyes. You get two 60 card decks, 10 tokens, two debt boxes, strategy insert, and a. Oh, two spin downs. Okay. So you're pretty much all set to play magic at the kitchen table, one deck per person. So let's take a look at this. And we'll get our planeswalkers out of the way because they won't be needed for pack blessings today. They're just a decoration, which may or may not offend them. Alright, so here we have the usual quick reference card. Let's take a quick look at the insert here so here is the might side you can take a look at yeah so we've got a nice range of cards here from throughout magic history other spells lands some tips for how to play this deck Lavisa cold eyes and then if we look at the brain side of things we have joira of the gitu and it's talking about creature tokens, okay, and then here's the deck list for this one. So take a close look at that. A lot of champions of Kamigawa, that's interesting. Some tips for playing the deck. So I will say this one I noticed was sitting on the shelves quite a while at the local game store. Not really flying off there like the... Goblins one did, but still, I think it's worth checking out. There's also the Elves vs. Inventors, that was another one that came out more recently. So here's the deck box. Fold that together. And we should get another one of those. That's pretty cool. Yep, here we go. So this is the one with Joyra. Very simple design. Put all your cards in there. And are the jewel decks something you have been wanting to check out? Do you actually own any of them? What are your favorite jewel decks? Leave a note in the comments. So we get a white spin down and a like a gray and black one. So you can take your pick there. Let's take a look at these foil cards. So we get Joira of the Gitu, 2-2 two, two for 3 mana legendary creature, human wizard. So this one you could use in a commander deck. Pay 2, exile a non-land card from your hand, and you get to put 4 time counters on the exiled card. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. So at the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from that card. When the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's a creature, it has haste. So you're pretty much uh, able to cast things a little later and you're removing the, yeah, at the beginning of your upkeep, removing those counters. And for the brawn side of things, we have Lovisa Cold Eyes, another foil, 3-3 three, three for 5 mana, legendary creature, human. Each creature that's a barbarian, a warrior, or a berserker gets plus 2, plus 2, and has haste. Okay, and then we'll take a look here. We've got the individually wrapped decks. So let's take a look at this one first. And we'll separate out the mana. They like to put that in the middle for some reason. And we'll put the tokens, oh, we got some more mana here, some tokens, okay, so we'll set that aside, we'll take a look at the mana base. So I think that, what does this say, blue, blue-red, 
And that would be the... I'm not sure, that is probably the brawn, uh, the brain side of things. Okay, so we'll get started here. We get a Jory and Ruin Diver, 2-3 three for 3 mana. Legendary Creature Merfolk Wizard, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, draw a card. So that's a rare. Talran Sky Summoner, 2-2 two, two for 4 mana, Legendary Creature Merfolk Wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 two, two Blue Drake Creature Token with Flying. Oh, what's this? Sage Eye Avengers. Very strange. Creature Jin Monk, 4-5 for 6 mana with Prowess. So whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. And whenever it attacks, you may return target creature to its owner's hand if its power is less than Sage Eye Avengers' power. Ooh, Deep Sea Kraken. Don't think I've ever seen this one. This is a 6, 6, 4, 10 mana. Deep Sea Kraken can't be blocked. It has Suspend 9. You can pay 2 and an island. And this is talking about that suspend thing, so basically nine time counters. I would be surprised if you can get that off in time, but whatever. This is like a game ender. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if Deep Sea Kraken is suspended, remove a time counter from it. Ah, there we go, there's the secret. So that's how you get rid of some of those time counters. The Unspeakable! This is a Legendary Creature Spirit, 6749 mana with Flying and Trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may return target Arcane card from your graveyard to your hand. So I'm assuming there's some Arcane type that we'll see in here shortly. Instant Quicken for a single island next sorcery card you cast this turn can be cast as though it had Flash. So basically cast any time you could cast an instant and you also get some card draw out of this one. Mind's Desire. Sorcery for six. Shuffle your library then exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. And a Volcanic Vision. Sorcery for seven. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand and it deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponent's control. And then XL vo Volcanic Vision. Firemind's Foresight. Instant for seven. Search your library for an instant card with converted mana cost three. Reveal it and put it into your hand and repeat this process for instant cards with converted mana cost two and one. Then shuffle your library. Well, we got a ton of rares in this. That's pretty good. Beacon of Tomorrows. Sorcery for eight. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Shuffle Beacon of Tomorrows into its owner's library. And then we're moving on to some uncommon. So the Young Pyromancer. I think that's worth a couple of bucks. Nivix Cyclops. Goblin Electromancer couple of those guys. Another Young Pyromancer. Spellheart Chimera. Nuklevi. What the heck is that? I am struggling to understand what I'm looking at. Are those eyeballs in there? Leave a note in the comments if you know what the deal with that guy is. Reach Through Mists. Ah, there we go. There's an Arcane. So just a particular type of spell. We get two of those. Three of those. Peer through depths. So I'm guessing we're getting a couple of those. Snap. And that's some pretty cool artwork as well. That'd be a nice one in foil actually. Desperate ritual. So here's another arcane. Grape shot. Rift bolt. Get a couple of those. So what have we got? Three. Sift through sands. Another of the arcane type. Empty the warrens. And we have the goblins. Here they are. Nice goblin army. Create two one one red goblin creature tokens. 
So two of those, Temporal Fisher, Shivan Meteor, 13 damage to target creature. Craziness. And that's it. So I think that was the brains portion. I could be mistaken though, so we'll take a look into this other deck here. Oh, and before we, we go on to that second one, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine islands. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mountains. And we also have some non basic lands. We get a swift water cliffs. Two, three, yeah, I would expect four of those. Okay. And then we get some cool tokens here. We get one of these nice goblin tokens and just single sided. Elemental token, that's pretty cool. A couple of those, and again, those are single sided. Drake token, and that's it. Okay, so moving on to the second deck. Uh, let's find these. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 forests. And what else do we have here? I've got a couple of others. So this is a green and red deck. Also get some rugged highlands. For the um, like a jewel land, so four of those as you'd expect. Get you a bit better mana fixing. We get a beast token, single sided elephant token, a couple of those, elf warrior, and a worm token. Look at that thing! All right, so this is definitely looking more brawny to me. Get some big creatures here I'd ex expect to see. So first off we have Talara's Battalion. This is a creature elf warrior, 4-3 for 2 mana with trample. You cast it only if you've cast another green spell this turn. Radar Air to Keld. Legendary creature elf warrior, 2-2 two, two for 2 mana. Um, you see a older, more battle-hardened version of her. I believe that was in Dominaria. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whenever Radha, heir to Keld, attacks, you may add two mountains to your mana pool. And you can tap, add a forest to your mana pool. Seems good. Zozu, the Punisher. Legendary creature, goblin warrior. Look at that guy. 2-2 two, two for three mana. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, Zozu, the Punisher, deals two damage to that land's controller. That's a nice ability there. Punish them for playing their lands. Rubble Belt Raiders. Pay one and a mix of either mountains or forests. So three of those. So 3-3, three, three, Creature Human Warrior. Whenever Rubble Belt Raiders attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each attacking creature you control. Kamal, Pit Fighter, Human Barbarian, Legendary Creature 6, 1, 4, 6 mana. Okay, had trouble seeing now. I thought he might have been a goblin, but no, definitely human. He has haste, and you can tap it, and it deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Call of the Herd, some dirty big elephants. Sorcery for 3, create a 3-3 three, three green elephant creature token, and flashback Three and a forest, so you can cast it from your graveyard for its flashback cost and then exile it. We'll get a couple of those guys. Increasing Savagery! Sorcery for four! Put five plus one plus one counters on target creature. If Increasing Savagery was cast from a graveyard, put ten plus one plus one counters on that creature instead. That is definitely Increasing Savagery. Flashback five and two forests. Coat of Arms, this is an artifact for 5. Each creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each other creature on the battlefield that shares at least one creature type with it. 
So if you have two Goblin Warriors and a Goblin Shaman on the battlefield, each gets plus two, plus two. That's a pretty good one for the Tribal Synergies. Beacon of Destruction, instant for five. It deals five damage to target creature or player. Shuffle it into its owner's library. And that was our rares, I would expect. We move on to a common Skagen Pit Skulk. Burning Tree Emissary. Kruin Striker. Couple of those. Another Burning Tree. Another one of these guys. Relentless Hunter. Creature Human Warrior. Ambassador Oak. We get a Tree Folk Warrior. So a couple of those. And we get some Gorehorn Minotaurs. Minotaur Warriors. So you can see you've got some tribals here. Tree Folk, Humans, Minotaurs, Old Warriors. So that other card could pump those up. Cloud Crown Oak. Another Tree Folk. We got two of those. Firebolt. Guttural Response. So counter target blue instant spell. Rampant Growth. We get a few of these. Sylvan Might. Harmonize. Beast Attack. What is that? Eh? It's just a beast. Alright, fair enough. Roar of the Worm. Credo 66 Green Worm Creature Token. Boldwear Intimidator, Giant Warrior, and that's it. So those are our brawny characters. And we have the brains here, so let's organize these like so. And these decks are really fine-tuned to play against each other, so that's the whole point. Pretty much you have a ready-to-go magic game in the one box, so that seems pretty good. Uh, if you were playing them against other decks, I'm not sure how well that would work out. Uh, you might easily be able to overpower these, but they tend to try and make these match up pretty well. Leave a note in the comments if you've played this one before. What do you think? I'm interested to hear how that went. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.